Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix. And today I'm going to show you how to control particles with textures. All right, so this is a common question that I've seen a, a lot. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you first how you don't do it because this is what people expect to do. So, what you expect to do is to create a material like I have here. I have material and I assign a texture to the material. And what I want is basically create, let's say in this case, it's going to be a grid. And I want to create, uh, I want to assign this shader to this um, grid. So this is the shader I created. And then I should have a texture. Well, I don't have UVs. I need to add UVs, UV uh, texture. So there we go. I, I assign a texture to the, to this grid. And I expect this to be used for uh, emitting the particles. And that's not how you do it. All right. So I'm going to show you how you do it. This is, the, this is the, the one I did. One of the ones I did, I did this one and I did this butterfly. You can see the particles are being emitted from the uh, texture there. You can see that's what's happening. And that looks pretty cool, right? That's one of the ones I did. This is the other one. Okay, so let's see how can we do this stuff. All right, so let's create a geometry node and call this effect. Inside here, we're going to create a grid. This is this is could be any geometry you need to have. In my case, I'm just going to do it in a grid just for uh, simplicity. What you need to do is you need to use a map attribute from map node. And this node will let you do transfer uh, to any texture to your geometry. All right. There's two parts to this. So let's say uh, the geometry I have. Say I'm going to, I have some uh, frames here of uh, on the broad animation. Well, okay, so that's one frame, but you can see it looks like crap. It doesn't look like what we want, right? Well, that is because this is transferring the color of the image to the actual point. So this little guy's there. So each one of those guys are getting one color there. So if you want to sample the image more, you need to add more points, like let's like say 512 by 512. Consider this your resolution. And now you can see the image looks better. So basically consider this your pixels. So if you go inside, you can see there's, it's a little bit um, blobby and stuff. So if you want more resolution, you go even higher, but I don't really recommend you make this super high because you're going to have a large geometry. And I don't think it's going to even matter when you are like over seeing the image, like far away from here. So just make sure. You have enough, but not too much. You can see there's almost no difference there, but you need the amount of points. So if you make it too low, that are basically the resolution is too low. All right. So that's one thing you need. So now we have that into the image. If you have UVs in your object, this is just a single image and this guy is creating the UVs. But if you already have UVs, let's say, let me delete this UV attribute from here. If you already have UVs, let me, let me leave the UVs at the UV attribute there. If you already have UVs, like, let's say, uh, this guy that I use a lot, Roberto. So this object already has UVs. If you try to do that with an, a notebook that has UVs, sometimes there's some issues. You can see this time it did project to the texture. But sometimes you need to just delete this UV attribute here, here and it will do it the correct way. Let me remove that. You can see it's doing what I expect if I subdivide this guy. I'm gonna give it more, more resolution like that. That looks pretty cool. And so sometimes this attribute just gets in the way. You can see it's, it's differently mapping the thing. So. Sometimes just try to see how it works better for you with that of with of without this attribute. So for our grid, it doesn't gonna matter. 
it's just a flat plane, which is cool. So now we have this uh, into the object. Now, how can we use this to emit particles? So let's create a pop object, pop network, sorry, pop network. And if we go inside here, you can see we already, let me hide the guide. You see the, the particles are already um, inheriting the color for the texture. So if that's all you wanted to do, just try to make an image up here. You can do that. But if you want to do uh, something else, you can have the emission attribute be in this case, the color. And, and now you can see that I'm just going to emit particles where the color is not white. I mean, not dark. You can see in the dark areas, there's no emission of particles. So that's pretty important. The dark areas are not going to emit particles. Now, if we make these particles go up, just adding to the velocity, let's remove the variance for now. Just make them go up like 0.2. You can see now the particles are being emitted from the texture. That's pretty damn cool. Now you're asking me, can I do that with an animated texture? Sure, for course you can. Uh, you can just load here an animation sequence. You can see I have 24 frames here. And this is what it looks like. You can see that's what it looks like. But you can see there's 24 frames. And after that, it goes away. So if you want to loop this, you can just use a time, uh, a time warp. Then just in the time warp, put uh, your sequence range here. 1 to 24, 1 to 24, and post extend to cycle. That's going to just loop whatever sequence you have. It does make it a little bit slower. You can see it's not running super fast now because this thing takes some processing. But I think it's all right. If you just want to, in this case, let's just not do that. Just do 1 to 24 so we have faster response for now. And now, if we go into the, the uh, pop net, it just should work right away. You can see it's just working. You can make it, see, you can go inside, give it more velocity up, and you can see the particles are just emitting from that texture as we move uh, the, the sequence along. So let's say we emit more particles. See, that's pretty cool. And that's how you emit particles from textures. So any texture you want, just plug it there. In this case, we are emitting from the color. So you can see right now it's all flat, but you could do some funky tricks. Like uh, maybe add some velocity before here. Like let's say, let's add a wrangle. Uh, to be wrangle. And let's do the velocity y. Let's make it equal to uh, cd times 5, let's say. So basically, we're making the velocity up in the up direction equals to the color, which is going to give us faster uh, particles for the, uh, sorry, faster, faster particles for the ones that are wider and uh, slower particles for the ones that are uh, that are darker. So let's not do any velocity here. Now, well, you can see now our velocity is coming from the actual color there. So there you go. You can do whatever you want here with the particles. You can add a force and you can add anything, any effects you want here at this level and everything will be working. That looks pretty cool and it's pretty fast to do. Just remember that you have to have your attribute in the actual geometry to make it able to control your particles. And if you like this episode, please like and subscribe so others can benefit as well. And if you like our training, go to MixTRN and buy our amazing training. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you in the next one and let's keep learning together. Cheers.